Hello everybody. It's Tuesday night and it's story time. Well, I had to share it with you. I read this particular story, I received it as a forward and I was so thrilled. Now let's see what the story is all about. So there was this village full of frogs and they were moving from one forest to the other. Now on the way, as the frogs kept moving, there was a ditch that these two frogs didn't see and ended up slipping and falling deep inside. Now obviously when somebody falls in a group, everybody wants to help them. So there was intense amount of chaos. People were screaming, shouting, okay, come up. And then when everybody peeked into the pit and saw how deep it was, they all started saying, stop, stop uh, even trying to jump out. And you know, they started yelling, there's no point in you trying to jump out. It's going to only be a problem. So don't even bother. So the two frogs that were trying to jump up, they would jump up and fall. And obviously every time they jump and fell, they would get hurt. So from the top, you know, the other frogs were saying, forget about it, you're as good as dead. You're never gonna be able to make it out alive. Don't even bother, you can reduce the suffering and pain that you have. It's okay, just give up. And so one of the frogs actually heard this advice and said, okay, let me give up. And he died. Now the second frog, the more these guys yelled and screamed, the more this guy jumped up, more this guy jumped up. He kept at it, he kept going, he kept going. And finally he was out of the pit. And now once he was out, all of them were asking him, didn't you hear our advice? How come you kept jumping? Uh, we're happy that you're out alive, but we're confused about how you didn't take the advice. They later found out this guy was deaf after all. And what he assumed was all these people are cheering him and saying, oh yeah, you should go in. And he didn't want to let his people down. They were encouraging him. They were cheering. They were there for him. They were constantly supporting him is what he felt. And he wanted to try even harder and he succeeded. So what do we learn from this story? There's immense power in our words. We can either make somebody, we can revive them, inspire them, make them live, help them come out of the ditch, so to speak, literally. Or you can absolutely kill them with your words. Choice is, of course, yours, right? Yeah, I, th I think taking the former is better, encouraging them, allowing them to live, right? I'm sure you're with me on that. Um, yeah, this is called Vakpatutvam. In, you know, there is um, there is a Dhyana Shloka of Hanumanji. We say Buddhir Balam Yasho Dhairyam Nirbhayatvam Arogata Ajatyam Vakpatutvam Cha Hanumat Smaranathavet. I've shared a story about Vakpatutvam or eloquence or power of speech and how it can either make or break you before. And in the same line, you know, Vakpatutvam, that power that speech has, you need to use it effectively. Yeah. So, yeah, think before you speak, <laughs> people, and have fun. Thank you for joining me on the story time. Talk to you soon with another story. <laughs>